What's good, guys? This story is coming out via KHOU 11, Houston, Texas. It's in regards to Malia Davis. It came out this morning, but was updated this afternoon. And I want to thank my friend, Marie722, for sending it to me. Malia Davis's stepfather pleads guilty to injury to a child, sentenced to 40 years. And I'll play the video that goes with this story shortly. Darion Vince, the man charged in connection with Malia Davis's death, has been sentenced to 40 years in prison after pleading guilty to tampering with a corpse and injury to a child. This new development was announced Thursday morning, this morning, by Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg. Vince was sentenced to 40 years for the injury of, of a child charge and 20 years for the tampering with a corpse charge. He will serve the sentences concurrently, the DA's office said. Quote, children are the most vulnerable members of our community and young Malia's death is tragic, Ogg said. We may never have all the answers in this case and our thoughts are with our family, end quote. Houston Police Chief Troy Finner released the following statement in regards to Vince's sentencing. Quote, I am so proud of our homicide detectives who spent countless hours and traveled countless miles investigating the murder of this innocent angel, said Finner. We believe justice was done with this sentence. We will continue to pray for Malia's family and hope that today's actions give them a sense of closure, end quote. In 2019, Vince, who was 28 at the time, was charged with tampering with a corpse and injury to a child after the body of Malia, who would have been six this year, was found on the side of the road in a trash bag in Arkansas. What happened to Malia Davis? The story of Malia shook not only the entire Houston community, but the world. Malia was originally reported missing at the beginning of May after Vince, who was Malia's stepfather, initially claimed she may have been abducted by men who had attacked him while he was on the way to pick up Malia's mom from Bush Intercontinental Airport. Vince told police he thought something was wrong with his tire, so he got out of the car to check what was going on, and that's when he was approached by two men who attacked him and kidnapped him, Malia and his one-year-old son. Vince said when he woke up, he was somewhere off Highway 6 in the Sugar Land area with Cortland in his arm, but Malia was nowhere to be found. It didn't take long for the police to determine that Vince's story didn't match up. Two weeks into Malia's disappearance, Vince was charged for tampering with a human corpse. The search for the whereabouts never stopped, although police and search crews had very little to go on. Not only did police pull out of the stops, all the stops to find Malia, but the community got involved because everyone knew time was of the essence. That's a balloon uh, release for Malia Davis from May the 19th. Nearly a month after Malia was reported missing, Vince confessed to Quanell X, the location of Malia's body, which was in Fulton, Arkansas. Texas EquiSearch found Tim Miller, founder Tim Miller called the scene where Malia's remains were found, quote, gruesome, end quote. Quote, it was a terrible sight to see. It took hours gathering up body parts and evidence, end quote, said Miller. Months later, the DA filed a new charge against Vince, injury to a child, serious bodily injury, a first-degree felony, after reviewing all of the evidence, including Malia's autopsy results. The DA's office said Vince struck the then four-year-old with, with his hand and a blunt object before the little girl died and didn't seek the proper medical care for her. Malia was laid to rest during a private funeral on June the 22nd, 2019. A custom casket adorned with My Little Pony characters and rainbows was made for the little girl whose life was taken away too soon. Malia's mother, Brittany Bowen, sat down with KHOU 11 anchor Lynn Cannon about two weeks into Malia's disappearance and said she never thought Vince would be capable of hurting Malia. Although many people had their suspicions about the role Bowens may have had in Malia's disappearance and death, including Quanell X, who was once her loudest defender, Bowens has never been charged. As far as Malia's biological father, Craig Davis, we have seen him very emotional as this case unraveled. He didn't speak much to the media, but in January of 2020, the DA's office said he lunged at Vince during a court appearance in an attempt to attack him. He was not charged. Uh, if lunging is all he did, 
uh, Vince should consider himself very lucky. Because it would have took everything I had to be in the same room with someone who murdered my child. I mean, just look at our sweet face. How could you hurt a child? I do not get it. I cannot even make my brain process it. But I don't like the charges in this case. But on the more positive side, at least he's got charges. Whatever holds him in there will do for now. But I definitely wanted to bring this to the channel since it is an update in this case. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play the video. To have you with us, I'm Sherman Chow. And I'm Jason Bristol. Our top story is this. There is now a plea deal today in the Malia Davis case. Two years ago, Malia Davis, the little Houston girl, was missing and then found dead along a roadside in Arkansas. It is a story that got international attention. Malia's stepfather, Darian Vence, will now serve 40 years in prison, but not for murder. Jason Miles live from the Harris County Jail where Vence is still being held. So Jason, is that enough? Well, not according to some folks. Jason, Derry, and Vince pleaded guilty to two things today. Injury to a child and tampering with a corpse. The man to whom Vince confessed two years ago certainly doesn't think it's enough. Houston activist Quan LX. They had been looking for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and they couldn't get anything out of him. Easily recalls the confession he got from Darian Vince two years ago regarding the disappearance of his four-year-old stepdaughter, Malia Davis. Even the feds couldn't find out where she was and I was able to meet with him for about 35 minutes and he told me everything that he did. Quan L says that includes strangling little Malia after striking her following an argument with her mother. This surveillance video showed her following Vince into their southwest Houston apartment the day police believe she died. Quanell says he was fully prepared to testify against Vince before he pleaded guilty today to injury to a child and tampering with a corpse. I don't believe that 40 years is a justifiable sentence for Mr. Vance based on what he did and what he confessed to me that he did to young Malia Davis. In a statement, Harris County District Attorney Kim Ogg said, quote, children are the most vulnerable members of our community and young Malia's death is tragic. We may never have all of the answers in this case and our thoughts are with the family. Malia's mother, Brittany Bowens, was never charged in relation to the case. Her grandmother told me today that it's been a long two years. Happy birthday to you. Since then, friends and family have gathered to celebrate birthdays, and a bridge near where Malia's body was found in Arkansas was renamed in her honor. And it's shameful if real justice does not come in her case. KHOU legal analyst Carmen Rowe says it's clear that prosecutors didn't have enough evidence to legally connect Vince with Malia's death. That's why they plea bargained down to the uh, charges he did confess to today and again was sentenced to 40 years. Vince's defense attorney had no comment on the plea agreement. Back to you. Thank you, Jason. As we just showed you, we've been tracking the story for the past two years now. And to see all of our coverage, go to khou.com slash Malia Davis. So there you have it, guys. Mm. 40 years. I'm going to end the story on that note. Thanks for watching, guys.